the screen. Yeah. Uh, good morning, ma'am. My topic for today is partnership at will, partnership for fixed period, and general partnership. Coming to the definition of partnership, Section 4 of the Partnership Act defines partnership. It is a relationship between persons who have agreed to share the profits of a business carried on by all or any of them acting for all. Now we dissect the definition of the partnership. First, there must be a contract. Any partnership can only begin if there is a contract, there is, there is an agreement. After that, uh, there must be two or more than two persons and that person can be an artificial word person. Uh, then we can conclude that a company can also come into a partnership. Then they must all agree to carry on a business and that business should be a continuous legal business. For example, co-owners of a property cannot claim to have a partnership. Further, they all must share the profit. And uh, mere uh, taking out the salary from the partnership firm cannot amount to sharing the profit. And lastly, they all must act as a mutual agency to each other. Uh, that means that they must all act as a principal and as an agent simultaneously to each other. Now we, we look at the timeline of the Indian Partnership Act. First, the provisions of Indian Partnership Act was enshrined in Indian Contract Act. That was the general law then. Then in 1932, Indian Partnership Act came and which specializes in provisions of Partnership Act. After one year, in 1933, section 69 uh, talks about the provi uh, provisions when the partnership is not registered. Then in 2008, we have Limited Liability Partnership, which further uh, liberalizes the liability of the partners and limits the liability. Now, we need to contrast between Indian Contract Act and Indian Partnership Act. Under Section 11 of the ICA, that is Indian Contract Act, a minor cannot come into an agreement, cannot make the contract. But in contrast to that, under Section 30 of the Indian Partnership Act, a minor can become a partner as well as share have the share in the profit. So we can see that the special law prevails over the general law. Now coming to the types of partnership. In general partnership, each partner reserves a right to make decisions about the working and the management of the firm. And the liability of the partner is unlimited. That means the personal assets of the uh, partners can be attached in case the firm's assets are not sufficient to cover the loss. And it is contrasted with the limited liability partnership, which has come, which is newer and which limits the liability of the partnership. In that, the personal assets of the partners cannot be attached. And the firm's uh, assets are only used. Further, the next type of partnership is particular partnership, which is covered under Section 8 of the Indian Partnership Act, which simply means that when a partner set out to carry a specific undertaking, a project that uh, that may be making a movie, a building, uh, build, uh, making a building, and as soon as that activity ends, the partnership also ends. But one thing that should be noted here that they can continue uh, uh, going on the venture and share the profit to make that partnership, a particular partnership, into partnership at will. Further, now we have partnership at will. Section 7 and Section 43 of Indian Partnership Act talks about partnership at will. If the, if the contract of the partnership does not contain the duration of the partnership and, the, and how, determine, how that partnership will be determined or terminated, then that partner, partnership is termed as partnership at will. Our Supreme Court also iterated that these two things determine the partnership at will. And under Section 43, a partner can give notice to other partners and uh, dissolve the firm from the date of notice. And in the instant case of Iqbal Nath versus Rameswar Nath, uh, the Supreme Court iterated that retirement of a partner is not equivalent to termination of the partnership. Now, coming to next type of partnership. Partnership for fixed period. For example, uh, suppose A and B come into a contract and they decide that we have, will have a partnership for five years. And as soon as that five years uh, ends, there is no partnership between them and the partnership come to a halt. 
but if they continue to share the profit and have mutual agency then that partnership of fixed period is turned into partnership at will so in the particular partnership also and the fixed period partnership also they have the option to turn the partnership and continue the partnership in partnership at will on a conclusive note i would like to point out that general form of partnership is losing its charm to its inherent disadvantages as it 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 has unlimited liabilities and the personal assets of the company of the partners can be attached but a limited liability partnership which is more flexible and which also creates a separate legal entity for the firm so that uh, the personal assets of the partners cannot be attached in case of uh, loss so our government is also recognizing that and we have the liability partnership act of 2008 uh, so uh, i would like to end my presentation uh, with the uh, with by saying that uh, the way forward is limited liability partnership thank you okay all right money thank you ma'am okay.